So today we are reading this Temple of Love, page 17. Page. Today, we read from Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila 19, verses 152 to 154. When a person receives the seed, of devotional service, he should take care, he should take care of it by becoming a gardener and sowing the seed in his heart. If he waters the seed gradually by the process of shravana and kirtana, the seed will begin to sprout. As one waters the Bhakti Lata Bija, the seed sprouts and the creeper gradually grows to the point where it penetrates the walls of this universe and goes beyond the Viraja River, which is lying between the spiritual world and the material world. It attains Brahma Loka, the Brahman effulgence and penetrating through that stratum sorry and penetrating through that stratum it reaches the spiritual sky and the spiritual planet goloka vrindavana mm. guru deva explained the mind runs like this. Immediately, it gets influenced by different effects. The sadhana makes one strong in this effect. And who is not in sadhana? He cannot work on this effect means he is helplessly thrown around. Mercy is coming, watering the seeds through our ears. The creeper penetrates the material universe. Some stop there. Material desire is fulfilled. Someone desires a wife. Any material requirement comes. More comfort will come. Then we have to leave this material world to identify the spiritual world. In between, there is a river. We have to cross this river to reach to the spiritual. A river is a flow. When I was in the material river, there was a flow, a material flow. 
and a spiritual river goes with a spiritual flow. But in between, there is a river to cross. In one flow, you have to stay. It is not possible to stay in both flows. This body is working like this. There is a river in between. Brahma Luka means soul and super soul. Okay, one stop. So in this bus in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Nineteenth chapter and verse uh, one fifty two and one fifty four, probably Rupa Sikhas. And then question may allow. Question is what, what is Bhakti Lata Beach? So, Dada Chalanji, if you could explain what this seed, Bhaktirata Beach, and then how to take care. This is very important point, I guess. Uh, the seed contains everything. But it's uh, but it's um, it's how to say in our case it's uh, uh, bhakti lata lata means wine yeah wine uh, wine of bhakti means um, uh, that creeper creeper yeah creeper which is uh, growing up through the all levels of universe, means all levels of consciousness, different desires and different types of happiness, and coming out of universe, and come to the Viraja River, which is border between spiritual and material worlds. And this place, it's called Brahmaloka here, mm -hmm. beyond of this uh, Viraja River, it's first is Brahmaloka, means the place where uh, soul can get liberation, uh, freedom from material world, means no any sufferings, no more tempered, uh, no temporal existence, no any cause of problems. And someone will be happy with this. Means before they get other seed, not Bhaktilata Beach. But Bhaktilata Beach by nature will have desire grow more up, go more higher. Vaikuncha, or it depends on uh, from whom it was received with Bhaktilata Beach. Beach means strong desire, actually. Mm. It's coming through initiation, during initiation. Mm. And then Harikatha is pouring water on this seed. And here it's uh, written. Uh, no, it's not written. It's Shukadev speaking. He's telling. Mm. But uh, devotee who received this uh, seed must become a garden. Mm. Must take care about this seed. Makes, um, fence. how to say? Fence. Uh, how to say? Fence. It's border. Fence. Fence. Fence, fence. Yes. fence. To protect from animals mm. who can come and eat this gentle green creeper. Uh, creeper. And also from elephants, which is uh, can uproot, means uh, it, it is mean to to make such such a thing. It's called aparad, mm -hmm. which uh, can um, how to say makes heart not desiring uh, the higher higher goal. Mm. It's dramatic for me. Too much dramatic.
and gradually by this actually i think um uh the gardener real gardener is guru in vaishnavas <laughs> it's my own things not i am i can try but really i need uh protection and help from vaishnavas um and one day it who knows when it's according to shimata radika sweet will it makes gives flower and sweet uh, fruits means prema mm. it uh in uh, gaudi vaishnava school it means uh devotee will receive um swarupa and will serve in this swarupa to shri radha mohanji but i'm understanding my understanding of this thank you very much So yesterday was one initiation ceremony. And uh, this is Harinam initiation. Then at that time Gurudev was saying this Maha Mantra could give you from A to Z. Means if you desire material things, also Sainar Mira mean a Sainar uh, sorry uh, holy name could give fulfill material desire. If you want to be in personal realization, also you can get. If you want to buy Kunta Pranet, also possible. Yeah. If you're going to Brindavan, Goroka Brindavan, it is possible. Yeah. If you want to go uh, Radha Mohan's Nikunja Seba, it is also possible. But it depends on our desire, also how to take care. Uh, if anybody take care Torashi Maharani, then from beginning, Sprout come. Then sometimes it is difficult is it torasis sprout or another weed sprout? Sometimes we misunderstand. Weed is torasi devi. <coughs> also, sometimes we take out torasi, torasi, you know, sprout. Or if we Recognize this is Torashi Devi. Oh. Then grown up. Mm -hmm. But also all the same time, the weed also, weed also coming out. And also string wind, wind blow. Mm -hmm. Then Torashi Devi was kind of fell down. Something broke. Well, sometimes if we don't do give, we don't give water to Torashi Devi, then Torashi Devi dry up. So, therefore, this, so we are getting this bacteria at the beach. At that time of initiation, especially. And then, next thing is, I, we have to take care of this beach. And actually, interesting. Because Gurudev recently often say, In our mind, what we are thinking, what is desiring, 
Nobody check our heart. So we have to check it out. We are watering the, the torasi, torasi, actually, sorry, this bacteria at the beach. Or a dangerous animal, mud elephant is, is coming to in the heart. <laughs> My parents in law was uh, has some kind of some round countryside. And then we are and then they are making watermelon a lot. And we we had some fence. But that fence is not perfect. Then animal coming. And then take out, you know, sometimes many part of watermelon. Many part of watermelon. Ah, they, they eating. Ah, or as, you know, they're kind of walking around, digging and destroy everything sometimes. Mm -hmm. So similarly, in the heart, what we are thinking? We are thinking Really, Krishna's Harikata, Krishna's pastime, Krishna's Rupa, quality, and Lira, or Krishna's Seva? Or we are thinking about my work, my family, our money, or money, you know, many material objects. My bhakti is more easy because externally we do, we go to Mongolatic, we do chanting, oh, I'm a good devotee. But uh, this Raga Nuga Bhakti, Raga Bhakti, is we have to see inside our mind. Every moment, what we are thinking? We really thinking Radha Moha? Or we are thinking material object? And often we realize, or oh, actually, I'm thinking I'm Krishna consciousness. But actually, reality is I'm thinking always opposite sex. We're always thinking family member, always thinking about, uh, about business, about money. So this, in reality, if we check it out, our mind, my mind, then we could understand our real, real, you know, our reality. What what kind of advancement we are doing. Especially, I was saying, like, animal enters the, the garden, watermelon garden. And the Vedic scripture, it describes mud elephant. Mad of elephant means opposite side of love is false ego. I'm master. I'm enjoyer. I have this thing, that, you know, that thing. And if we are material consciousness, some of the material greed is coming. Material envious is coming. Material anger is coming. Material pride is coming. Then easy to 
we made offenses to other devotees, other people. So, therefore, Guru Dev teaching is really actually nice. Don't check others. Check myself. <laughs> I remember when we are doing Bhaiti Bhakti, we have tendency to check others. And uh, actually, I, I'm learning or how to check myself from Guru Dev. So this Guru Dev mentioned material world and spiritual world in between. The river is there. It's called Viraj River. And uh, Gurudev used to say many, Gurudev say two lines, parallel line. One line is material line, one line is spiritual line. And if material lines become bigger, longer, then our spiritual line become very, very, what do you say? Short, short. But the spiritual line become big. Then our material line become small. So uh, I'm realizing, I'm feeling how daily life put this spiritual line become bigger. It's called sadhana and also association. And Guru Dev was many times saying, you are my friends. Other devotees like my friends. Friends. Other devotees, friends. Protection. So Radha Charam, Baba also saying similar thing. Because say, Guru Dev want to go somewhere else. But some other devotees, you know, are watching and asking, Guru Dev, where are you going? <laughs> if he want to go to some kind of personal things, sometimes devotee was kind of watching and, uh, and uh, prevent him to go some some place and some devotee come good day please 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 answer me my question i want to read rada rasas nandi would you like to hear so if we are in in the association devotee and uh, we have uh, no time to to deviation a lot. So this is a good day of saying later on, check yourself. <laughs> so this is a very minute, but very important, I think, matter. I am a soul. You are a super soul. I am a devotee. You are God. If I'm satisfied, I will stop here in the spark and the light. We can block at any time. Material world can block us. My mind, my senses, 
my false ego, my pride, my envy. Who will decide? We have to decide for ourselves. Everybody has a different heart. Check yourself. Different, different material projects are so important to be worked on. We will not cross the river to go to the spiritual world. We cannot even make any effort for that. We don't want to leave the material plane to cross this river to reach the spiritual world. Like I have heard very interesting story. Like say, if we arrive Delhi airport and then we from Delhi airport we we planning to go to Brindavan. Then sometimes you know if if I don't know some very nice building or some nice very nice palace or amusement center. If someone has desire, oh maybe let me go. So we can stop. Then to go to 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 reach Brindaban is become late. It, you know, we, you know, it takes more time to reach Brindaban. <coughs> Some people say if we go to a different case, you know, different maybe occasion. Some devotee was saying. If we go to spiritual, we see many different planets, different world. If one once mind is attached to these things, then we go, we 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 have to go on this place. Like uh, you know, if we we are driving from Delhi, oh, this very nice fruit shop. Please stop it. I want to drink coconuts. Then car has to stop it. Then we enjoy this coconut. Or oh, we go another place. Oh, this very nice restaurant. Oh, let me enjoy, let me go. <laughs> then we have to stop it. So similarly, even tiny thing, tiny desire if inside in a heart, then we have to go through this experience. So therefore, this, this Guru Dev is saying, if we think we attach material object, then we cannot cross the material world. So we, we stuck it. So therefore, to go to spiritual world, very strong, strong greed needed, or hankering, like crying, like Raghunath Goswami. He desire nothing else but Shirimati Radhika's seva. Shirimati Radhika. I don't want anything. I only need you, my Swami Radhika. And that person can go across the spiritual world, can go to spiritual world. So this is. Hmm?
Hmm? Oh, sorry, Suniti is there. Wow. I could not see. Suniti. What, my dear Suniti? Nade, very nice. Very nice you explain. <laughs> so please, please share your you know, feeling and uh, some realization experience. I, I think this uh, basic understanding to check ourselves, this is always what Gurudev gives to us again and again. And this uh, example, what Mahaprabhu gives, that we should become a gardener. Then I also think, what is the seed? And you were explaining how Gurudev is giving Harinam. So he's giving the holy name. So actually, the holy name is put in our hearts. And then we are chanting these nice syllables. And we are feeling very good when they are, you know, helping us. But actually, I was feeling when you were reading it that the growing of this uh, Bhakti Lata Beach, this, this uh, creeper of devotion is like growing in the feeling to Mahamantra. Mahamantra is the, the, the creeper. And uh, according to my own deeper feelings, I feel Mahamantra like you know, like a cleaning process, but also then slowly, slowly, I read yesterday in Vilapa Kusmanjali, we become uh, more closer to Mahamantra, to Radha Mohan. And we feel that they are this Mahamantra. They are the, you know, they are the ones who come to me in the form of the seed that Gurudev is putting the seed in my heart, in our hearts. And I feel that uh, to really come into the personal relationship, it's the process. It's not a theory. It's not something uh, that one can think, but only something I can learn how to feel. And that's why he is starting with the mind. Gurudev is starting with the mind to, con to check the mind. And then when the mercy comes to cross the material world, this is such a nice example. How to cross this material world is actually mercy. Again, we need mercy. Every step we do in this development of this beautiful plant is a mercy step. And then in the next uh, next side or next page, Gurudev is explaining that, yeah, we get also benefits from chanting. We see that many devotees, when we come, we maybe have not so much happiness with uh, money or with the relations or with the children. And then, first of all, Shimati Radhika, she helps us by Gurudev's mercy that our material life becomes balanced. No? Because when the balance is not there, then the mind is not a uh, very, um, how you say, a good cooperation partner. <laughs> because like you said, Maharaj, we always think about our problems mostly. But then later, when the plant, our relation to Mahamantra, to Shimati Radhika, to be really specific, and to Gurudev, who are helping us to fence and protect, when this comes more strong and this one-pointedness comes more strong, then the relation to them in the Mahamantra and that's what I just want to give right now, this example that Bhakti Lata Beach is the growing of realizing what is the meaning of Mahamantra and who is Mahamantra. Mm. Wow. That was my feeling and thank you so much. And I'm so happy that we are reading this book. And you see, these are the words of Gurudev. I'm so happy. And it's written in the way how he talks. So, Suniti, 
<laughs> Sunitiji. If you could explain Harikisha Mahamantra's meaning a little bit by your experience. I think we have all heard how good it is explaining Mahamantra. That I always call it the divine embrace. It's it's Hare is Shimati Radhika. And she is embracing from behind, from behind. She's hiding and she's embracing Krishna. Hare Krishna. And she does this once and she does this twice. And then Krishna is feeling who is embracing me? Krishna, Krishna. He is looking. Oh, it's my Hare, Hare. She, he is also embracing her. And then when they are in this embrace, they become Hare Rama. They are Radha and Mohan together. Hare Rama is Radha and Mohan. Rama. Ra, Radha, Mo, Mohan. And when they are in this divine embrace and they are so happy that they can meet and they can you know, look into each other's eyes without problem. They can exchange their love freely. Then they look and they are looking, where is where is all the our, our dasis? We need also our dasis. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. And then they are calling, Rama, Radha and Mohan are calling, Hare Hare, come, all you spiritual beautiful dasis. Come and, and have a have a beautiful uh, service together with us in our divine embrace. That is the Kunj Seva, and that is when the mantras are serving so beautiful drinks and flower garlands and perfumes, and then it becomes the complete, you know, uh, exchange of divine love. And that to pray for this deep feelings of that that is our goal and that is our watering the bhakti lata beach and then the bhakti lata beach this creeper of devotion and this deeper feeling of mahamantra will grow and it will cross the material river the viraja river it will go into the different different areas it will cross vaikuntha where krishna is vishnu and Shimati Radhika is Lakshmi, where they are living in their Aishvaya, in this, you know, godly planet, where they are worshipping each other and where the main feelings are worship and das dasya, the serving in a worshipable mood. And then they go higher and higher until they come to Goloka Vrindavan. And that is what Gurudev also saying. We have to go into that spiritual flow and that is by the mercy of Gurudev and all our Vaishnavas, we are reminding each other, what is Mahamantra? What am I chanting? And what do I want to remember whole day? And I think, yeah, we all, uh, you all know this also very well, that Gurudev is giving that very special feeling and mood of the divine embrace. And when they embrace also, they become together, Ra, Radha, and Mohan become Gora. Mm. They become Goranga Mahaprabhu. Gora. No? This is Govinda and Radharani. So in every name, there is the blessing. And in every name, we can again and again feel them. But I have to practice this. I am. Like Gurudev says, the mind is always, you know, easily jumping out. Easily I go into my own Leela, my own life story, which is also okay. But if we want to cross this material river, if we want to cross to the higher feelings of Radha Mohan's service, then I need my spiritual self. I need my spiritual identity. And that is very nice explained how to get out to, you know, from all this material projects of all our material uh, 
attachment, you know. It's not that we don't have our material lives. We have the children. We have our jobs. But all this understanding needs to be transformed into a loving feeling of serving the divine embrace of Radha Mohan. This is what I try, we all try, and we all are in our, you know, individual uh, steps or phases of this. So thank you. I hope this was okay. I don't want to talk so much, Jainanda Maharaj. Very beautiful, very beautiful experience in ETDD. And uh, yesterday was, uh, you know, Basante Panchami. And, uh, and also, Basan Basanta Panchami is uh, like a practice speaking, spring will start. From, from today to, 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 to Gora Purnima, this kind of holy, holy period. <laughs> In India, you know, many different places, holy is there. Therefore, from yesterday, we have a kind of, if I say, flower, you know, like a colorful powder. Yesterday, yellow powder, we put Guru Dev's face, each other's face like this. This is starting, is Basanti Panchami. And also yesterday was uh, our Parama Guru Dev's appearance day. Then uh, yesterday, Gopinata Baya arranges Kirtaniya. And uh, actually, among the Kirtaniya, one Kirtaniya is super. And I was watching him, hearing his, oh my God, this Kirtaniya is so sweet, so nice. And then later on, also, Gurudev also same, said the same thing. You recognize this Kirtania? Yes, Guru Dev. His Kirtan, yes. his, you know, his Kirtan is embracing Radha. Jai Ho! Like a, you, know, kind of, you know, this this kind of meditation, you know, his chanting, you know, I feel it. Guru Dev say like this. Mm. So, when Guru Dev saying, when we Kirtan, we should, we, we try to meditate in these kind of things. Mm. And Guru Dev often say, Rama is not Rama Chandra, not even Balaram, Parashuram, no. This is Rama is Ramaiti Rama. La, Radha Mohan together. Sniti did explain very nicely. La is Radha. Ma is Mohan. And also, Mahanid Baba was explaining very interesting how to chant Maha Mantra. If you want to be Manjari, in the Manjari's consciousness, we have to chant. Means, means we have to chant consciously, consciously. Guru Dev recently many things very important word is conscious or unconscious. Conscious means spiritual life. Unconscious means like I know no way, kind of animal, you know, life. Then how to conscious our spiritual identity. Who am I? This should be conscious. Well, who, 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 uh, whom we want to be? If we want to be Manjari, then as Manjari is conscious, we chant, what we meditate, what we did it. If we want to be the mother of Krishna, then as a mother of Krishna's position, we have to chant and uh, uh, hear, etc. This is uh, yesterday, it was uh, Paramaguru David's appearance there. And then maybe last time, 
é, o Dhammaji lead 60 Braja. I was impressed, maybe you may remember. Gorang Das Babaji Maharaj is very sick. And the devotees, disciples gave message to his Gurudev, means Parama Gurudev, was a disciple. So at that time, Gorang Das Babaji, Gurudev is Ramadas Baba. <coughs> So Ramadas Baba immediately said, bring him to Kalkatta. I bring him his best doctor in Kalkatta. But unfortunately, disease was very serious. Doctor said, I cannot operate, it's too late. Then Ramadas Baba, what he did is amazing. He brought, Ramadas Baba brought Gorang das, his disciple Gorang das Baba Maharaj in front of uh, Murti of his Guru Dev, Radha Ramancharan Das Baba. <laughs> he said, <laughs> So this is your, your Gorang Das. Your miracle is only in, in, your, in this book. Or oh, your miracle is still going on now. So you decide whatever you like. <laughs> you know, Ramadas Baba said to Gurudev. Then Gorangadas was meditating and then he, he saw his Parama Gurudev, Radha Ramanchara Das Baba. And his Parama was asking, what happening to Gorangadas? Goranga don't you know I'm suffering? Don't you understand I'm suffering? And Goranga does say like this. And then Paramaguru Dev was, you know, just massaging his, his part of disease. Then all, all, say, all poison, all some, what do you say? Mucus, everything, you know, is, is going out. Then after that, Gorangadas become cure and become all right. So I was feeling, oh, how Paramaguru Dev is merciful unto us. Because material relationship, Father, mother has responsibility to the children. So sometimes they may little bit, you know, uh, you know, correcting, sometimes punishing, sometimes. But the grandfather, grandmother is, is, is no, no responsibility and very kind to grandchildren. <laughs> so I felt yesterday, oh my God. Actually, Paramaguru is very merciful. Just to, we have to pray and we have to pray. I need your mercy and your help. So this is maybe a debate, but uh, yesterday was so nice festival. Everybody put, you know, God to the Paramaguru Dev and uh, glorify and then after that in the, that garland we put to our guru dev sadhu maharaj wow i just want to add also maharaj that i saw in a small video clip that uh, i think ma yoga shakti was uh, giving on radha dasyam how deep you were all uh, touched and absorbed in this kirtan of this wonderful, you know, Kirtaniya, what you say, that he also, by his singing, he gave this picture of embrace. And mm -hmm. I want to add also, I was very envious when I saw how you all got the yellow powder by Gurudev and you powder <laughs> each other because this is a very intimate exchange of love 
And I say, oh, Suniti, why are you not there? <laughs> you are such a fool. <laughs> because I, re I remember very strongly how Gurudev explained to us the coloring meaning. Okay, first of all, it is springtime. And the yellow color represents the spring, the sun, you know, that it's going to be warmer now. But it's also the springtime of our love. Mm. We want to be colored in the love of Radha Mohan. Mm. And Gurudev explained many times to us that our old uh, image of, of myself, like I am this person and that person and I have, you know, this and that background, I come from this family, I come from this school, this university. This is like the old colors of our lives. And I know because as a devotee that has been practicing Vaidhi Bhakti for many years, and as a woman who likes to always watch that she has a nice clothes, I always try to avoid the coloring. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I, I think, what is the use of this color? <laughs> it is so stupid to always change new, minute clothes. You don't get the spots out of your dress. <laughs> this I was kind of vain, you know, looking always to look good and to feel clean and this and that. But Gurdiv was like uh, chastising and, and giving the right understanding. He said, no. Don't look externally on your clothes and on your spots of your dress, of your chada. He said, you have to accept the colors of love. And when we color each other, or like when our dear brothers and sisters, and also especially Gurudev and all the older Vaishnavas, when they are coloring me, they give their love on me, on the soul, on this dasi. Mm. And they make us feel the real love exchange. So then I really understand that I should be more, you know, not so in this vaidi, in this uh, clean, I must be clean mood, but more, no, I want to be colored by the color of your love, Gurudev. When you are giving this yellow color on my face, or when Radha Mohan is giving me this color through you, through her dasi, then I feel very much uh, ah, blessed and uh, warm and sheltered. And I want to always have the new colors of your love. Mm. Thank you, Zuniti. Thank you. Wow. And especially yesterday, we put yellow color. <laughs> yellow color is Radha's, you know, Radha's color and uh, uh, Pitambara, Krishna's cross. So we want to put Radha Mohan's feeling, especially Radhika's feeling. And Kishori, you want to share something? <laughs> Radhe Radhe, Tandava to all. Yeah, very beautiful sharing. Thank you very much, Nanda Mahana. This is very nice for still my clothes. This jacket is still yellow. <laughs> And my yoga shakti is cheek is still yellow. I received again this morning and I was like, oh, how sweet. And now listening to you, it's like, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, we are talking about yesterday, this uh, Parama Gurudeva's uh, uh, appearance day. And now Gurudeva said yesterday, same as Dhyananda Maharaj. If we beg mercy from Parma Gurudev, everything is fulfilled. That's why we need mercy from Parma Gurudev. Recently, Gurudev strongly said, and now my yoga Shakti Didi and Madranji and some devotees starting to seva, new seva in Mandir, Parma Gurudev Samadhi and seva. Is this already shared in sharing? No, no. Maybe my yoga shakti did uh, share nicely. My English is not good. Please. You can share. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very beautiful, Seva. I want to listen. Yeah, thank you. 
be sure it's a good idea to share this mm. perhaps in the yeah. classes yeah. the next days yeah. because Gurudev has really a big desire it's coming from his heart um, that Samadhi should be like Radha Mohan temple and Shiva temple, Gupishwa temple independent and that with the donations we receive that we finance projects like new painting the walls inside outside new bed sheets for the beds behind perhaps some devotees that don't know but they are really the beds from yeah so because they are still living there and on new clothes and flower decoration so to support all this beautiful seva project gurudev said Yesterday it was like the start, the seed, and his heart wish, and is um, yeah. And we also did uh, little sweets. I sent also the photos in the group. Perhaps you saw, um, and with a little um, sticker, uh, <laughs> and there's Param Gurudev on it and giving his blessing. So it's written uh, blessings from. Um, yeah, from our Param Gurudev and uh, Govindas Babaji Maharaj. And this should be distributed every day when it's darshan time. So when when the curtains are open, the doors are open from Samadhi, somebody of us should sit there singing, perhaps also Kirtan, and distributing if the people enter the, the temple and, and coming to Samadhi so that we there is some program going on and attracting and also giving to everybody. So if somebody wants to give from the heart a donation, it's, it's most welcome, but we should give this prasad, the sweets to everybody. And we should organize this now under the devotees who are there. And when you are coming, that yeah, so that everybody can participate. And we will have like a meeting also perhaps tomorrow that we decide together which project now to sponsor first with the money we collected now from yesterday with the sweets and in the donation box, we counted everything. And yeah, and this makes Gurudev really, really happy. He's, yeah. And we can feel all the love coming from Param Gurudev. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, my yoga Shakti Didi. And uh, one thing uh, I want to add more about this project, what Gurudev says, Parama Gurudev always just uh, give, give and give spontaneously. So if someone, just now my yoga Shakti did say, someone who want to give donate, it's okay. No donate, it's okay. But spontaneously, just give, then automatically, mercy come and this seva will go on. Mm. This is a long, long time Gurudeva's desire. Now Prama Gurudeva's will appear in Guru Samadhi. We have become a, a part of Prama Gurudeva Lila again. Yeah. This is the beauty of Munger Mandir. That's why I want to share about this big project. It will become Success because of Sadhu Maharaj's will, Paramagru Deva's will, means Radha Mohan's will. Beautiful devotees are there. Jarade. I also now have a little, yeah, uh, something came. Also, Guru Dev said, um, when we come, um, we, we can have from this little sweet um, packages mm -hmm. and we can take home to Europe, to Asia, to South America, where we live, and distribute also around us um, this uh, sweets and also to everybody who wants to donate we take and who, who, who cannot it's also fine we, we just give and then the donation next time we come to Monga Money we can bring the money the Lakshmi and this will finance the new projects mm -hmm. yeah this is also very sweet <laughs> wow, very nice very sweet because Gurudeva's always position of I'm servant of 
マイグルデイブ、ラーダーゴミンダーズバージュマハラジ。We also, our position, we are servant, humble servant of サドマハラジ。We are humble servant of our パラマグルデイブ、ラーダーゴミンダーズバージュマハラジ。This is グルデイブズ、I think feeling, and our feeling also should be like this. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Um, we continue. Yes. So we don't want to leave the material plane to cross this river to reach the spiritual world. Then another distraction comes the Brahman effulgence. God consciousness. I know that I'm a soul. So you easily stop there. No problem. Stop there. But, is, but it is impersonal. Prabhupada mentioned in his Bhagavad Gita introduction. That there are three kinds of transcendentalists the jnani, yogi, and devotee. They are different. Do not mix them up. When the goal is fixed, devotion starts. I have no goal. How devotion will start? Devotion means caring and loving. The seed is successful when it gives fruits of love. Prima pal to Krishna. Question Why we chant Nityananda Ram Guru Deva Ram is the Bija mantra of Radhika. Nitai Ram is the one who always creates the meeting of Radha and Krishna. Also in Maha Mantra, we see Ram and it is not Ramachandra <laughs> or Balaram. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it is Rameti Ram. Hare means Radhika. Radhika is stealing Krishna. How she is stealing by embracing. Second Hari Krishna. Krishna is in Radhika's embrace. And from inside, Krishna says, Krishna, Krishna, and Hare, Hare means he also. Embraces Radhika now. Try to understand. First Hari is because of Radhika, and last Hari is Krishna embracing her. Then a Manjari is coming, and she says, Hare Ram. Oh, my dear, you are really in Ramana in meeting time. You are close, you are embracing, <coughs> and you will go to the Kunja. I want to serve you. This Ram. Is stealing the heart of who? 
of the manjari. Ram is calling to the manjari to come and help and serve the kunja pastimes. It will come the time that you, you that you will not do anything. <laughs> Only you watch and all happens. Why we are chanting? To enter and serve in the name of this mantra. That is to relish. If not, it is only Nama Bas. Uh, maybe some person may not know Nama Bas. If Siniti Lizi, could you explain Shuddha Nam, Nama Bas, and Nama Parada? Maybe also Radha Charanji, he is better, older devotee. Can you explain yeah. Nama Bas, please? Yeah, yeah, um, it's three stages of uh, chanting of holy name. We, we can find this in uh, the book called Harinama Chintamani, Bhaktion Thakur, or anyway we can find in Chitan Charitamrita. Ah, yes. Dut is asking me to speak slowly. I will try. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, the real chanting of holy name is called Shuddhanam. Pew, uh, pew holy name means uh, devotee calling his Ishtadevata. He's calling like uh, children calling his mother, kids calling mother in this way. It's not formal pronunciation of some names. And Aparad, it's meant offensive. Mm. Means without love. Appa means without Radha, without Radha, without love. Mm. Chanting. No love in heart. No means no relationship. Means uh, absorption in material things, desire in material things. And Namabhas means uh, semblance or shadow of real Nam. It means not so much Aparad, not so much offense. Uh, but not no relationship, strong relationship. Mm. This devotee can think during chanting about lilas or about um, holy places, some some spiritual subjects, but not so much uh, relationship. No, is pulling in the heart towards Ishta Devata. Mm. How I'm understanding this? It's coming gradually, gradually. First, usually nama aparad means. Mm -hmm. No relationship, devotees just started his uh, chanting. Mm -hmm. Sometime he will chant Namabhas. Because of Namabhas, he become purified. And then when he purified, uh, something can actually, it's just mercy of Shema Radhika, mercy of Guru and Vaishnavas. Then Shudanam can co come. It even can come in, in any moment. <laughs> I, I remember once I read one book, Gora Lila. Before I never read so much, I, little, little. But in that moment, I received first time in Russian big book about Gora Lila. I, would, I was completely absorbed in this book. In one moment, the feelings so strong come from the heart. I started to call the names Gor, Nitai, um, Gadadhar, Advaita, Srivas. It was so strong desire. You know, one devotee was passing, passing close and he'll, oh, whoa, 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 be careful, they will appear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they, they already appear in the form of name in this moment. Mm. And, that's, and, and that time, no insertion. Mm -hmm. It just was caused by uh, absorption in Lila. Because they now become for me alive in my heart, in my consciousness. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Could you could you add or something? Or? I think very beautiful this gradual development of feelings and absorption. First, it's like a mechanical repetition, maybe, 
with no much knowledge or hearing or just trying to speak, trying to enter purification process. And then this Namabhas is a, is a semblance, is something closer, something closer to the pure name. And I must say that it's not that when you chant for many, many years, you're always on the same level. We all know that the mind is always there and the senses always say, do this, do that. So I think like uh, Radha Charan uh, Prabhuji was saying that it's the mercy that we have the feelings. And I feel after I hear this explanation of Gurudev, what we just read, what we just hear from Ma Yoga Shakti, that uh, how Mahamantra is so much alive is the embrace of Radha Mohan. That has helped me so much in my spiritual uh, feelings. Because I just don't only chant the syllables, not only the names, but I have a feeling for a vision. I can feel they are together. And I want to serve them when they are together. And I pray to my Gurudev, to my Vaishnavas, to the Guru Parampara, that they will help me, that I am accepted as a servant. And then the uh, by the process, because we have heard now the many days, the Cheto Dapa Namajanam prayers of Lord Chaitanya, by the process of purification, our all being will become more able to purely and lovingly and feelingly chant. And then we go into the stai bath, that relation that Gurudev has given to me, that fixed relation to Mahamantra, like a Darcy now. And then when we chant with this deep feeling of connectivity and deep uh, prayers of mercy, then we can also feel some tears are coming, separation is coming, desire is growing, and it's very beautiful that this relishment May we all help each other to relish more and more the deep Leela of the Holy Name. One day I was asking Gurudev, because sometimes he gives a diksha and he says, these diksha mantras are so powerful. They are so powerful. And he always tells us, Radha Mohan uh, Baba, uh, no, Mohan Baba, he was chanting for so and so many years. At Govardhan, only the Kama Gayatri, and he became so pure. And I said to Gurudev, Well, Gurudev, if they are so powerful, why do we chant Mahamantra? <laughs> we can only chant our, our Diksha mantras, isn't it? And he said, Oh, no, no. We need some Leela. We need this Leela, this, this beautiful, beautiful embrace. And then he, like this, he gave me a hint. I feel he gave me a hint. When we are chanting Mahamantra and this coming more on a level of, of purity, then the forms of Radha Mohan will appear and we can feel, not only feel, but see at one time how they are dancing, how they are playing, how they are hiding. And all the the verses of Vilapa Kushmanjali, like for example, when they are dancing in the Rasa Leela, they become alive. And I think this is, I, I'm not on this level. I honestly say, I pray for it. But then I guess one day when the eyes and the heart are so much with the, you know, solve of, of Prema, when this cream and the covering of Prema will come, then I can see them, I can feel, I can hear them, and I can serve them. That is the Shudana. But that is like uh, uh, Radha Charanji said, this is the mercy, and we pray, and sometimes we get like a glimpse. We get a little bit glimpse. We get these feelings. Wonderful, Sanitish. 
Thank you so much. I think really because I'm really struggling still <laughs> with chanting, especially when I am not here. And so this will really help me to remember your sweet explanation. Thank you so much. Really. So maybe you know both you know rather challenges need to explain very nicely. I want to give a little another insight. Nama para is like in the darkness. We don't see anything, we don't know my we, we cannot see myself, we cannot see our shitadeva or other people, we don't see anything. This is darkness. Nama bath is like uh, in the morning before sunrise. Slowly, slowly, like uh, lightning is appears. And slowly, slowly, we could see, but we cannot see clearly. That is Nama bath. So we, we, we understand, oh, we are spiritual, but I cannot see clearly. This is kind of Nama bath. Should the Nama is like a sunrise, so we could see everything. We know my Swarupa, we could see my Swarupa, we could see our Ishta Swarupa, also another Guru Manjari Ishta, you know, Swarupa. This is kind of Shuddha Nama. So Guru Devas, it is said, he was in front of Radha Mohan. Radha Mohan appeared and embrace together. And then at that time he realized Maha Mantra's meaning. Also, I had the same like Siniti Didi. Sometimes uh, Birapak Sumanjari, we should, we only we should chant Ishta Deva's name. Then our name is, you know, our Ishta's Radha. Then, we may think, oh, we may chant Radha's name, that's enough. Yeah. But the Guru Dev say, no. We have to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Because Hare Krishna Mantra, also Radha Mantra, also Yugara Mantra. In this Yugara Mantra, need Manjari and all leaders including. But the only Nam may not include all leaders. But uh, especially Maha Mantra, including all Lira. Gayatri also very nice, but the Gayatri is made in a kind of specific mantra. Gayatri could say some mantra may include all Lira, but uh, like uh, Maha Mantra is uh, very much recommended. That's I same thing also hide from Guru Dev. Thank you very much. Just now, Jananda Maharaj said um, what Guru Dev said. At that time, I also sitting there, and uh, Guru Dev said, "Why only Radha name is not enough? Because chant only Radha name is I want to become like Radha." It's Saki Baba. That's why Mahamanta, Radha's Krishna, Radha's Mohan is perfect for Manjari. That's why Mahamantra is Yugara Mantra. Thank you. Thank you Before, it was not happening. So you have to push. But when feelings and sambanda will come, then relish will come. This Maha Mantra is the relishment of the name of the Lord without pressure. <laughs> I. <laughs> I never push anyone <laughs> to go to the temple. <laughs> yes, Guru Dev is never pushing me. For, it's really so merciful. <laughs> I never push anyone to go to the temple. Why? Because I check how much you are connected with Ishtadeva. 
Ishta Nishta by pressure will not come. By chance, it happens. There is no reason. When this will happen, all disturbances will go. Why we come to Vrindavana? To start testing that. It is not that you have to practice for 30 years for that. You can fall in love in one minute. And when it will happen, everything will start changing in your life. I don't know, but this is my experience. It takes only one moment to change. Without Radhika's mercy, this flow cannot come in your life. If you want many things in life, then you go to Krishna. <laughs> Because he is the creator of the universe and he can give all that you want. But Radha Bhaktas have only one pointed seva and this Radha's Krishna. <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> yeah, this is, no? Radha uh, Mahayoga Shakti. Sometimes yeah. one word is missing. No problem. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Radha's question. <laughs> and also, this is a good day with a kind, little sin, say, kind of cynically, little kind of you know, joking way he's saying. Sometimes we go to Vishnu, Krishna, you know, sometimes like Amazon. Oh my oh, God, <laughs> please give me wife, please give me money, please give me husband, please give me house, please give me in job, you know, like this kind of praying. But uh, Radha Dasi never ask anything from Radhika. That only they want is service of Radhika. They want to see Radhika's happy or Radha's Mohan's happy. That is only their wishes. So therefore, you know, like uh, another Baidi Bhakta is, and uh, Radha Dash is, is quite different. Mm. They have Krishna's happiness in mind, not his things. When you see Radhika, she only wants to serve Krishna by her love. Nothing else. So if you want material things, you go to Krishna. <laughs> as God. <laughs> if you want real love, you go to Radhika to serve in Raja's mood. No, there is no other way. Wow. Yes, this is about the things. No? What do we want? Do I want you or do I want what you have? Hmm? Because Krishna has many things. He is, he is the owner of everything in this universe. So sometimes, like yeah, Jainanda Maharaj said, we are asking for things. But then Shrimati Radhika has only this. She wants to make him happy. And your happiness is my happiness. And the Mandaris are in the same way with Shrimati Radhika. When you are happy, we are happy. I am happy. So this is, yeah, this difference between asking from God about the things or Serving love. In a second moment, Guru Deva said, 
Ramiti Ram. They embrace themselves so strong that their bodies become one. Chaitanya. Like a sandwich. Radhika is outside and Krishna is inside. Like cheese. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia <laughs> and we found these nice pictures where Radhika and Krishna hug themselves and their body mix in one. Lala Samayi Praratana Prayer full of longing by Srila Narottama Das Thakur. Goranga Bodhi Te Habe Purakashani Hari Hari Bodhi Te Yame Babeni. Why do we sing Goranga? Because he is Krishna as Radhika. We see, we see him as Radha and Krishna. And when we sing his name, we feel shivering and tears coming. Gorangi becomes Goranga. Goranga distributing prema in Radhika's mood. This is her mercy. Kind love to all living entities. This was never given before. This is the special gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Araka Benita Chande Koduna Hoi Be Sansara Basana Mora Kabe to Shahabele. Who is Nitai? He is Balarama Adi Guru, the original Guru. So, Nitai is our original Gurudeva. He is giving us strength and power and mercy. Which mercy is he giving us through our own Gurudeva? Vishaya Sharia Kabe Shudaha Bemana this mercy Nitai is giving no more Vishaya, no more attachments to worldly desires. Our hearts and minds will be pure. Through Guru Deva's Kripa, mercy, we can see Sri Vrindavana. Rupa Raghunata Pade, Oibe Akuti, Kabe Hama Buja Bose. Why Sri Rupa Goswami and Srila Raghunatha Das Goswami? Because they are Sri Rupa Manjari and Sri Rati Manjari in Krishna Lila, and they are very, very close to our Swamini, Sri Mati Radhika. Without their mercy, 
We can never become Radhika's maid servants. Sri Rupa Mandri in the head is in the head of all Mandris. No, she is the head of all Mandris. <laughs> <laughs> and she is in the head of all Mandris. <laughs> She's the headmaster. <laughs> Sorry. Sri Rupa Mandri is the head of all Mandris. <laughs> we, are Ru Ra we are Rupa Nugas. We follow Srila Rupa Goswami and also Sri Rupa Mandri. Externally and internally. Rupa Naguna Tapade Rahu Mora Asha Pradutta Nakoro Esada Narota Madasa. Without the mercy of the Mahayanas, Mahajana. ma Mahajanas, the great saints, we cannot practice our sadhana. If we read the poems of Srila Narottama Das Thakur, all perfection can come. They are so deep. Everything is there. So, okay, this just mm -hmm. trans translation. Yeah, translation. When will that auspicious moment come to me? When there will be shivering of the body as soon as I chant Lord Goranga's name. And after the shivering, while chanting Hare Krishna, when will there be tears pouring down from my eyes? <laughs> 